All right, guys, here we are to talk about the organizational system. This is the best of the best with honors. Hopefully you guys appreciate this content enough that you'll actually subscribe. I see 98% of you guys aren't subscribed. Uh, I mean, you don't have to subscribe. You don't want to, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We'll just get right into it. Someone in the comments, they wanted to know how I did the piping for the big clan base and uh, it's not as hard as you like to think it is maybe if I did like a little picture and drew it and explained it you'd see that it's pretty simple but so what you got is this little distributor unit right here uh, in the beginning of like the industry update I don't know I figured this is like the easiest way to I mean, some people, they do a splitter, they'll run a pipe into the splitter, and then they'll split to three connections. But I thought, well, why not just make a big chain? And so I've been doing this since the industry update came out, and it's, it hasn't not worked yet, so... Uh, yeah, do it like this. Every time you do a splitter, it splits off into two connections, and if you need more distribution to your system then you just keep you know adding the splitters and I don't know this is simple for the brain because it's all in one spot <clears throat> I know uh, some people like to put it on a wall and you have a wall <laughs> of splitters and a wall of conveyors but anyways uh, so you got I see I don't have the skins for the boxes so I mean, this is my favorite skin I recently bought, so I'm just going to use it with that. But I got a sign here, and then that way you can see that I'm just distributing based on... Like, I, I would do it based on the box, but I'm going to do it based on the section of the sign. This note, it, it, this is complicated or as simple as you want to make it. And so depending on what... Like, if you want more specificity or just to be more specific you like let's say you had an AK box you had like an L9 box LR box or whatever then you could I mean you need a conveyor per box but since I'm doing big sections and just guns in every box here it doesn't matter what gun then you would want to connect the, the boxes like this now this one here you can hold shift and you're gonna go back to the left here because input on the left output on the right like a book and you'll do a little something like this now since we're here uh, so in order to feed it back into the system you will want to put uh, combiner right here. Now this just based on this type of loot room, but this is how I did it. And so you're like basically creating a loop back into the system. You'd have a box here and you'd have an adapter. And then you know take the pipe tool and you know it's pretty self explanatory. So it goes into the box like that. Whenever you have loot, you want to distribute, you get back to base, you'd want to put it in this box, and then it's going to do all the organizing for you. Before I get carried away, you're going to need a battery. And I'm just going to use a test generator because I'm not really interested in setting up all that stuff right now. But you drill like two solar panels, root combined. Combined. But I mean, these clan bases, you'll have so much wind energy that, yeah, just into like a battery basic battery setup I got I'm gonna be making more electrical videos talking about batteries and uh, setups that are probably unorthodox but I mean unorthodox meaning like you're probably not gonna do that but so anyways you want to feed your power into here and it's like a little left to the right and you kind of get kind of fast at it and make sure you don't accidentally grab one of the other outputs because there are a lot on these things. There. So you got them all on. 
And uh, yeah, so this is where the fun begins. So uh, if you're in a clan, you probably want to want to tell a guy to do this part of the piping because this piping stuff does kind of add up in terms of like time it, it takes to set up. You got to place all the adapters. You got to run all the pipe, like it. And depending on how many boxes you got in a, your clan base, yeah, it's it, it's a lot of work, right? So. And, I mean, the more specific you want these boxes to be organized, that is also going to create more work, so. Uh, yeah, so I'll just, uh, maybe I'll speed this part up, do like one of those jump cut things <laughs> that you guys seem to enjoy. But I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so. All the boxes have been connected in this like kind of linear fashion and so you know armor, meds, ammo. So now it's just a matter of going to the brain and so just pick one, doesn't matter which one, I'll just pick whatever, I'll pick this one. And make sure you set a filter before you do this, so I'm going to set armor, or sorry, uh, clothing. And if you look here for clothing, you can see that armor is under clothing. And so maybe, depending on your clan, you guys only want to organize specific pieces of clothing. Maybe you wouldn't just select clothing, but uh, you would do plate, face mask, and then all that road sign stuff. I mean, this is where it is very tedious. And so I'm just showing you that this is how you would do it if you wanted specific things in the box. If you look at the crafting thing here, you, all these uh, sub, I mean all these tab uh, menus or whatever you want to call them, they are actually filters that you can set so you don't have to do all that crazy nonsense. And so I just set up the armor clothing and then you'd go over to wherever the armor armor right here and then you just go right into so if you hold shift you can pipe it right onto the box like that oh <laughs> my sticky keys no <laughs> anyway, I should probably turn that off anyways uh, <laughs> yeah so we're sorting armor right now pretty simple so now we're gonna do the boom sulfur gunpowder And then into the connection right here. Now I I know that that's a lot of boom box right there. Maybe you only have four. Maybe you only have one. And then it's up to you, right? Like it's as specific as you want to get here. And so yeah, it's just more of the same. So I'll do the I'll do the rest of them here. And so you can see too resources. And you can do tools as well because I mean those two kind of go hand in hand. So you click on the edge there, click on the edge there, and then you should be able to get it to the top part. So I definitely made a lot of extra conveyors that might not be necessary. But it's actually nice to have because whenever you do want to organize something, then you can easily just... I mean, it's there, ready for you. But yeah, you only really need like seven conveyors. And then medical. You, you drop stuff in here. And so I mean, hold on, I'll put some stuff in here. You can see that. So one thing to be aware about too is for whatever reason, this uh, assault rifle ice. It, I mean, I'll, I'll put it in there and you'll see. I mentioned it in my last video, but yeah, you can see it's going to end up in the scum box over here. There you go. So what will happen is it'll fill up the first box and then go to the next box. And then you got like an overflow kind of thing going on here. But I'll talk more about that in a second because the system's a little... I mean, I don't think Base Punch necessarily intended what I'm about to do here. So now we want to build 
the... Well, actually, before I, we do that, let me just get a full kit in here. I uh, put the ammo in there. All right, whatever. So you can see, this is going to do all the work for you. And if you wanted it to go quicker, you can also split up the stacks. That's a little thing you might want to know. All right, so just pick any one now. And so this will be like the locker building uh, conveyor. So you put your pants, you want the hoodie, you want the kilt, you want the plate stuff, face mask, boots, and gloves. So you want to put quantity amounts here on all the stuff. So you want one of these in every locker. And then six syringe and one med kit. And so now, just as you'd expect, I mean, I'll, I'll pipe it up properly here. I mean, you could direct connect, guys. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to run stuff the way I'm doing it. And there you go. So now it's like, well, look, it's not going in the locker. Well, it's like, buddy, you haven't hooked up the system yet, so this is why we get into this part now. So now you have to connect everything back into this brain. And so it's just a matter of piping out, getting around the corner here. You go like that. And so these con uh, combiners are going to combine into each other. Gonna combine. And once you get to the end, you're gonna go into this box here. And so now you might notice some weird things happening inside these boxes. I mean at least on that clan server I noticed something going on. But yeah, so now we just it's just a matter of connecting all these uh, organized boxes into these combiners and so now if we go over to the locker that I connected here you can see there you go and so you can just easily, just like the way the box logic works, it will spill over into uh, the other lockers. It will, it will overflow. But you see what I was saying about that iced AK. For whatever reason, these iced AKs need to be reskinned. Because you'll see, it will put two AKs in there. Face punch. Face punch needs to fix that. I might. I guess I'm gonna be the guy that has to report that bug. Okay, so here is the one thing that you might want to... I mean, this might bother you, depending on how you feel about things. But we have, like, this weird loop kind of going on here. And if you look in these boxes, these AKs, they'll... Like, they're in there, but, like, for whatever reason... It's, like, it's a little buggy. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. It's a little buggy. But these AKs will go to where they need to go. And if this... So this box might become a problem. I know this is like a little discouraging, right? But all, I mean, all you got to do is disconnect. Sorry, all you got to do is disconnect this uh, connection here to fix the problem temporarily. Right, so if I go like this, disconnect that. Now everything will go to where it should go. And so, I mean, this is like kind of like the little, I'm like the magic number in the equation right now. Because like, if I'm not in the equation, it don't, it don't work. So, you can see how that, how that's working. And so this sort box is kind of, it's, it's not, it, it doesn't work as like you, think it should work because what's happening is it's it's putting the loot in the box 
and then this thing's like taking it back out and then it's putting in the box and it's taking it back out and it's putting it in the box and for whatever reason the stuff just ends up here and so it's just a matter of disconnecting this here so whenever you go to sort things uh, or whenever you're trying to build kits you want this to be connected uh, but anyways so yeah now it's just uh, you get stupid with the lockers and so you have a maximum of 32 connections you can put anything in here right so I mean I'll just start jamming up the box here and there's one thing that's missing here is components so if if that you needed to organize more stuff then you'd go like this you'd, you'd split up these boxes here and have four boxes and then same kind of thing here and then put a sign here see it ideally you buy those organizer boxes and so here it's just like get in between the connections here and then take this end connection here really you only have to do this to uh, you only have to do that to like armor and stuff that you put in the locker but just in case you wanted to put the stuff elsewhere like organize it and then put it somewhere else then you do this little connection here but uh, yeah so I mean it's more of the same little refresher here in case you guys make sure you're still on the same page with me here let's go here connect to the conveyor don't turn it on right away because <laughs> everything will just go in that box and just type in whatever it is you want all right so there you go locker kits and just don't don't forget to skin these AKs. So it's up to the pipe guy, the plumber, to go around and reskin these AKs. And I mean, I don't know if you guys need a tutorial on that, but you know, just get yourself a repair bench, have it somewhere, uh, put it behind here maybe if you're in this type of base. And so you can get as creative as you want with these pipe connections and just be aware of that one bug of it ending back here and so I showed you guys the easy fix so I mean ideally you just leave this connected and don't worry about that bug until like this box is full because other it, I mean otherwise it's just a nice box to have AK popping into you're ready to ready to operate when they come into your core alright guys Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I maybe this was a little long, and I'm sorry if the video ended up being really long. But I just I'm talk slow apparently, and I don't know. I like to explain things a lot a little longer than needed. But uh, hopefully you guys found that very informative, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you guys in the next video.